Yellowstone today. Live footage of magma chamber eruptions continues. Hydrothermal explosions in Yellowstone. A magma layer that likely plays a crucial role in preventing major volcanic eruptions has been discovered in Yellowstone National Park, according to new research by Rice University. The school said in a news release that researchers from Rice, the University of New Mexico, the University of Utah, and the University of Texas at Dallas discovered a sharp, volatile rich layer located 3.8 kilometers, or about 2.3 miles, beneath the park's surface. The cap, made of magma, acts like a lid, helping to trap pressure and heat beneath it, Rice University officials said. Using controlled source seismic imaging and advanced computer models, the geoscientists' findings suggest that Yellowstone's magma reservoir is actively releasing gas while remaining stable. For decades, we've known there's magma beneath Yellowstone, but the exact depth and structure of its upper boundary have been a big question, said Brandon Schmont, who led the research with Rice's Chenglong Duan. What we found is that this reservoir isn't stagnant. It's been there for several million years, but it's still dynamic. According to ABC News, researchers discovered in 2022 that the Yellowstone supervolcano holds more magma beneath its caldera than previously believed. Discussing their latest findings, Duan, a postdoctoral research fellow, said in a statement that his team successfully produced one of the, quote, first ultra-clear images of the top of the magma reservoir. The motivation behind my research was to advance structural seismic imaging beyond the limits of conventional travel time methods, he said. Using wave equation imaging techniques I developed during my doctoral studies for irregular seismic data, we produced one of the first ultra-clear images of the top of the magma reservoir beneath the Yellowstone caldera. Seeing such a powerful reflector at such a depth was truly surprising, Schmont added. This suggests something physically different is happening there. Possibly a buildup of partially melted rock interspersed with gas bubbles. A. Clogged, underground system caused Yellowstone's violent hydrothermal explosion. A clogged underground system caused a violent hydrothermal explosion at Yellowstone's Black Diamond Pool last summer, according to the United States Geological Survey, USGS. Minerals had blocked a channel beneath the pool in Biscuit Basin, trapping pressure that ultimately led to the explosion. The explosion threw boulders and debris hundreds of feet into the air, sending park visitors on a nearby boardwalk scurrying for safety. Fortunately, there were no injuries, but the boardwalk was severely damaged and remains closed. By carefully observing the flying rocks, we learned that the explosion occurred when a shallow hydrothermal system became clogged with waterborne minerals, the USGS wrote in a press release. The minerals clogged the plumbing system and allowed pressure to build in a shallow layer just below the surface. An explosion was inevitable. Since then, the area has remained geologically active. Mud eruptions in November 2024 and January 2025 shot water several feet into the air. In May 2025, another larger eruption shot water 20 to 30 feet high, followed by smaller eruptions. Meanwhile, in the Norris Geyser Basin, a new thermal pool gradually formed between late 2024 and early 2025. 
Unlike the sudden eruption of Black Diamond, this feature developed through a series of smaller hydrothermal events, creating a pool approximately 15 feet wide near Tree Island. Park officials continue to monitor the area closely, as Yellowstone's geothermal activity remains dynamic and unpredictable.